Welcome back to another video, you guys. So in this video, we're gonna go through all the accessories that I have for my Sony ZV-1F. These accessories are not things that I literally just got in one day, in one week. No, it's gonna take you time for you to build up your stash and then you have everything you need and you're good, okay? I have them all in here so I don't forget anything. The first thing you need when it comes to vlogging and all that is lights. You're gonna need a lot of lights. This is from Newer. This one is from Newer too. The brands that I love and I get things from pretty much all the time, GVM, Newer, and Ulanzi. Those are like the three brands. Now the other brand that I do wanna get a ring light from is called Lumi. You guys can look that up. But let's talk about this light. So I got this off of Amazon and everything I'm gonna talk about is linked in my Amazon storefront. If you guys wanna support me, you can go ahead and check the link in the description or it's gonna be pinned in the comment section so this is the first light it comes with this battery on it it actually came with a charger too like something where i can put this battery in there and just like charge it and then when it's done charging take it out and put it back here and I don't remember, but I think it came with like a charger that I can put over here and just put this light on top of the camera or on a tripod and use it while it's charging, but it does not charge the battery while you have it in. That's the only thing I will say I don't like about this and I don't use it as often as I should, but it's really good and it's really bright. Also, when you turn it on, it does not have like warm or like, you know, the setting that's like in between cold and warm. Warm. it's just like cold right so it comes with this filter which is like if you want the bright look or it comes with this now when you put this in this is gonna give the lights that warm setting that you might be looking for so all you do is just take this one out put the other one in that you want to use okay let's talk about the next light this is one of my favorites let me show you why this light not only takes battery it has the same type of battery that the other one has that I showed you guys but it also takes double a batteries and I love this so much because I'm like personally for me if I'm getting an accessory I want to get something that's also travel friendly and if you're traveling and as a content creator if you're vlogging let's say you're going through the airport and you just want to vlog or you just, I don't know you need some lights or you just want to take pictures and maybe you just need like quick light your battery is not charged listen it takes about six battery so you guys can see and then the other thing that I like about it it has a test button right here so if you press this you guys can see the red lights it shows you like basically how much power you have left with these batteries i still have full power because i haven't really used it that much so if i'm gonna recommend you guys get this or this one i would definitely say this one because with this one like i said you get the the battery stuff and you can charge it and then if you just forgot to charge it you can just use regular batteries and you're good to go also i just feel like the way it turns on you guys can see it's really oh it's really really bright now the other light i want to show you guys this one's from ulanzi this is what it looks like this brightness is only at like number one right now it goes up to five so if you press this this is two three four five and this is how bright it gets and then you can charge this with usb-c we all know a lot of things are going to usb-c's nowadays the new iphone that just came out iphone 15 pro is literally like iphone 15 iphone 15 pro they use usb-c which is great because the sony zv1f is usb-c this is usb-c and this is really small so this is nice if you want to use your camera outside of the house vlogging also another thing that i love about this light is you can still connect this to the camera and connect your microphone on top of it it has three spaces for that one over here another one on top of it and then another one on the other side so you can literally get maybe two more of these lights and maybe put one on the side over here one on the side over here put your microphone here so yeah you don't need to have two three tripods you have one tripod with lights on it other one with lights no the next thing I want to show you guys is this windshield that I got from Amazon. Now, the reason why I got this is I still want to be able to like block out the wind if I'm vlogging outside and then also use my microphone or my lights. I don't use a microphone for this Sony ZV-1F. Maybe I will get a microphone for it. I don't know. But for now, I just don't see the need for it because mostly when I'm vlogging, I do vlog in the house. I don't really use this camera outside that much because I haven't been outside this summer. But next summer, you guys are going to catch me outside. That's for sure. So what I do is... Is I just take off the um, the one that came with the camera and then I put this one on the camera this is what it looks like it has a space on top of here so now when I want to use this light I can just like pop this on top 
here. Let me see if I can get it in. I have to raise this up a little bit. And then just screw this down. And then there you go. So now you can vlog with the light on. So if you guys are having trouble when it comes to the quality of your videos because you don't have a really good light and you just don't want to have anything bulky, get this light. You're going to fall in love with it. Now let's talk about tripods. I have three. We're gonna talk about each one and why I have them. Let's start with this one. This is obviously the Sony remote. I have done videos on it and I've showed you guys like how to connect this to your camera. I will leave the link to that in the description if you wanna like watch that video if you're having trouble connecting it. We got this with the Sony a6400 that I have. You can use this to vlog. It makes your life easy cause you can literally just hold this and then when you like obviously connected the remote to the camera you can press record you can take pictures you can zoom in and out with this remote too so it's really nice to have even if you're not going to use it every single day i'm not sure if they have other remotes like this for the sony zv1f you guys can go ahead and check that out maybe on amazon or just like google it because i'm sure this is a little bit more expensive than maybe you finding something else that does work but i do love this it's it's a really good investment and the cameras that i have are from sony so i can connect this to my sony a6400 I can also connect it to the Sony ZV-1F. So this works pretty well for me. Let's move on to this tripod. The reason why I got this tripod is, first of all, it is so small, you guys, compared to this. This one is large and it's heavier. I love this remote because it is so tiny and it also extends just a little bit. You know, I feel like to a very nice and comfortable position if you wanted to. And you can like bend it and just like vlog, do whatever it is that you want to do. You can also open it up, you know, and just put it on the table i see a lot of people go to restaurants and they vlog you know day in my life when you're a content creator you're literally vlogging every single thing especially if you want to be consistent so something like this i think is pretty cool and then you can just like put it back down and put it in your purse and go about your day also when you buy this it comes with the phone clamp so you can also use your phone on this and just vlog it has a space up here you can take your small light that i showed you guys put it up here and then do your vlog and then now you have light. You don't need a big ring light with you. Now let's talk about the last tripod that I, well, not the last one that I have. I have other tripods, but the, you know, the last the main one that I have when it comes to like this camera and what I use to like vlog or do my like day in my life vlogs for my Instagram and my TikTok. This goes up to like 62 inches. So it's pretty, pretty long. And it also comes with the shutter button right here. You can also get this really flat or you can just like put it back to, which I like to just have it up to here because it can fit more like this in small spaces i use this mostly in my bathroom when i'm filming my day in my life videos with you know me and my kids and all that it comes with a phone clamp of course but you can take this out and i just like how easy it is like it's not like these are the tripods where I feel like you have to do the most and it's not as easy as it should be and just put your camera on it and you're good to go. Now you can just set the tripod where you want to set it and just do your video. And also apart from the table, I told you guys it goes up to like 62 inches. You can put it all the way up. The only thing I'll say about this tripod, I'm going to be very honest with you guys. It's not as stable as it should be. So I will never use my Sony a6400 on this tripod because that camera is very heavy if you put anything heavy on this tripod it's gonna weigh it down so you will just see the the tripod just start coming down all by itself i don't care if you extend this and you make it really flat it is just not as stable as you would think it should be this tripod was like 20 something dollars if i'm not mistaken if you want a very stable tripod you're gonna have to spend a little bit of coin for that um we do have two stable tripods that i use and i don't care how heavy the camera is put it on those tripods it's not gonna move Okay, let's move into protection. You know, you gotta protect everything you have and I'm very big when it comes to that. I bought a screen protector on Amazon for the camera. This is for the Sony ZV-1F. You can also use it on Sony ZV-1 if that's the camera that you have and you can also use it on the ZV-E10. Comes with, you know, a dry and wet wipe and then it comes with like the sticker stuff and this is like, I guess a level thing. And it comes with three screen protectors. So I have two more here and you can't even tell that I have a screen protector on it. 
Okay, let's talk about this phone holder that I have for your camera. Now, the reason why I love this phone holder is you don't just use it on your camera. You can also just like put it on a tripod and put your phone on it and do your videos. Or if you want to do a YouTube video and also record a video for your Instagram slash TikTok at the same time, you can just have your camera. Get this windshield stuff that I got from Amazon because again, it gives you this space over here where you have access to put the light and then you can also put this on there and open it up it has something under here that you press you have to like hold and press it and then it opens it up and now you can put your phone okay and now this is what it looks like so now you're gonna be recording a video for your YouTube and also your TikTok at the same time The next thing we're gonna talk about is battery. Every single time I see someone comment about the battery, is the battery good, is this good? I'm like, listen, if you're using this camera to vlog, every single day i'm not gonna sit here and tell you yes the battery is like everything in the world is gonna last you all day because that's not true i don't even think that is true for any camera to be honest even your cell phone if you're using your cell phone every single day to vlog take 4k videos your battery is not gonna last you all day it ju it's just not gonna last you. you're gonna have to charge your battery maybe two three times a day so you definitely need extra battery i got this from adorama this is what it looks like Okay, you open it up, you put the battery. Now, if you wanna charge your battery, it's pretty easy. You just like put it in here, close it, and then you charge the battery. You guys should definitely get this. If you have this camera and it's something that you love using and you wanna invest in an extra battery, get something like this. Now, the last but not the least, you need to have a battery pack. I do have this one that I got from Costco. You guys definitely invest in a really good battery pack. And so far, I like this one. It's called My Charge. So if you don't have a Costco membership, I'm not sure if they have it on Amazon. If they do, I will look for it and add it to my Amazon storefront for you guys so it's easier for you to find. But definitely invest in a battery pack because apart from you having a camera, it's just good for your phone. And it's just good for you being out and about as a content creator. That is it for today's video. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed it also. I will see you guys in my next video.